Hey there guys, so in the previous video we've done unboxing of DIY Harley Benton guitar kit. Well, if you haven't seen it, you can just go here and watch it now, but if you have, we can just step on into the painting process and see how it will go. So starting off, I painted whole body with blue, then added some lighter blue and pink for contrast. So, uh, when the whole paint dried, I decided to go for that drops of water finish because uh, it looks great in my opinion. So, you can see me now painting all the body and those drops with black. Well, I thought it would look cool, but unfortunately when it dried, it didn't look as good as I expected. So. Yeah, unfortunately I had to remove whole paint and start whole painting process again. I was quite angry. Yeah, you can see me now removing all the paint. I used nitro solvent to remove this paint and as you can see I couldn't remove all paint yet there are still some spots but as you can see I could just paint over them and yeah it's still it looks good. <laughs> So now that I knew that drops of water won't actually work, I decided to go for something different. You know, all those people who do spray painting, actually I do too, so I know a couple of things about it, so yeah, they do that effect on planets, you know what I'm talking about, so that's what I try to do here. Uh, but unfortunately um, I took off too much paint and you can see that it didn't look as good as well. Yeah, so at this point I just decided that I will experiment and try different things because always I can just remove paint and start over again. So yeah, at that point I was just experimenting. Actually, 
Uh, that paint job looked pretty cool. I think I might tr I might try it on a different guitar one day. Yeah, but I wasn't happy <laughs> with that back then. Yeah, so again, you can see me painting whole guitar blue and yeah, again, blue, purple, sorry, not purple, I mean pink, light blue, all those colors back again. So finally I decided to do like a space finish. I mean, not the space, you, you can see. Maybe l more like a sky and yeah, different um, fogs of light and all that stuff. I don't know. Yeah, added some more splatter uh, spots of paint. I actually liked that finish and yeah. So now it's time to paint all those terrible um, plastic parts. You can see me removing uh, pickups cover because I want to paint them too. So I painted them white because I think it will look good with that cosmic style yeah, that I have already on body. And now it's time for the neck. So you can see there that I uh, covered the whole fretboard, just not to paint it. And yeah, I kind of tried to paint the neck with the same pattern that I painted the body. I love this splatter finish, I think it looks great. Yeah, now you can see me uh, painting the headstock and yeah, just cover the truss rod, uh, not to paint it because it's an important part of guitar, right?
And now I'm removing whole tape to see how the whole neck looks. And yeah, now it's time for the back of guitar because the front is dry so now I can paint the back For the fact that when you're playing, people don't usually see the back of guitar, I decided to go for something crazier, as you can see. So, now we can see the first finish that I uh, went for, that uh, drops of water effect. Yeah, I'm so angry that it didn't work out, but here you can see the final finish, that kind of cosmic splatter. Yeah. So guys, we are done with painting process, I hope you like it. We will be assembling whole guitar in the next video, so make sure you won't miss it. And yeah, I guess that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.